misery. Music is that I write, they always rise to it. It's tremendously proud. Just, just on a point to do with the weather, I've just been talking to some of the dancers who are following today. Do you have some little bit concerned that the stage is going to be wet later for the performer, so they might just have to downgrade a little of what they're expected to do on stage? Does it have an impact on musical performance when the skies are overcast and it's threatening to rain so hard? Well, it will for us tonight because we're not actually on the stage. Front of it, and there's nothing covering us, so oh, it's uh, yeah. But so the raindrops might add an extra percussive element. To yeah, yeah. Uh, a proper rain, I say. Yeah, <laughs> Listen, Mark and Ting, thank you very much. Thank uh, you. That is striking together. We are in Cambridge. Fifth. 
50 of our Olympic torch relay, which means there's only 20 days till we have the opening ceremony in London at the Olympic Park Stadium. But Cambridge, it is your night tonight. It's your time to shine. Cambridge is on the map. And people, the Olympic flame is going to be live here in your city, here in Cambridge. Are we excited about that? enjoy yourselves and most importantly make some noise and show your support tonight we have a real treat for you to start the show in an exciting collaboration between three amazing local groups representing the wider county of cambridgeshire please give a huge round of applause for our local organization focusing on training young people it's called dance offensive alongside striking together for gold that's it keep the cheers coming guys piece for tonight with fantastic flags courtesy of same skies so guys raise your banners give them your support and enjoy
fantastic. This is a big crowd tonight, isn't it? It's absolutely brilliant. Now, I want to tell you a little bit about the story of the Olympic flame. It was lit on May the 10th in Olympia in Greece, and it was obviously a very special moment for everyone involved. After over four years planning, the flame was lit by the rays of the sun in the home of the Olympic Games. The flame was then run through Greece for a week, and finally, it made its way to the Panathinaikos Stadium in Athens, where it was officially handed to the UK. The flame then travelled by aeroplane BA-2012, the Firefly, into RNAS Caldros, carried by the Princess Royal and a certain well-known footballer, you may have heard of him, David Beckham. We then, yay, we then started at Land's End in Cornwall, and since then, get this guys, we have travelled 5,539 miles and 5,000 